Uh, hey there, everybody. Just doing a review for this Vault Me 140 watt gallium nitride power delivery wall charger. And so, yeah, 140 watt power delivery wall chargers are definitely the future, like because these are the type of chargers that you're gonna want to buy if, if you don't want to buy another wall charger for any of your other devices. Because basically, this type of charger is the only charger that you'll really ever need to charge your devices that use a USB C charging or use a USB Type A port to charge with. And so uh, the box itself right over here, uh, pretty cool box. It does have this nice um, engraved design. It is the uh, Revo series for this charger. Over the back, it does have the specifications and uh, 18 months warranty, vault care after service support, and tier one developer in gallium nitride chargers. Don't know uh, what that is, but uh, yeah, anyways, that is the box for the charger. Uh, you get the manual and also a thank you card for your purchase in the box. And uh, yeah, the charger itself, of course, um, the manual is pretty helpful. It does tell you the specifications. In order to use the full 140 watts from the USB-C one port when you're charging a single device, I think that's only um, applicable if you're charging a uh, MacBook via a USB-C to MagSafe charging cable. And so, yeah, I mean, there we go. And over on this side, it does have the specifications. It does give you the examples for the power allocation. So if you're charging, um, a single or many devices at the same time um you know it does tell you the uh, power allocation for the uh, ports because you're charging from uh, the two USB C ports each of the ports are able to output 65 watts which is really good if you're charging from a uh, USB C one and the USB type a port you get a 100 watt and 22.5 uh, watt split of power if you're charging from the uh, USB C two port and the um, USB type a port you get a 100 watt and 22.5 Split of power, same thing right there. I don't know, I just repeated myself. And so if you're charging four devices at the same time, um, USB-C 1 outputs uh, 65 watts, USB-C 2 outputs uh, 45 watts, and USB type A outputs uh, 22.5 watts. So the uh, USB type A port on this charger uh, has a constant 22.5 watt output. The uh, USB-C 1 and USB-C 2 ports are really the only two ports that fluctuate in charging power, depending on how many devices you're charging at the same time. Um, and so yeah, the charger itself, here it is. Um, this is the Vault Me 140 watt power delivery wall charger. There are quite a few other chargers like this on the market. Like they're becoming more common as time goes on because you know, these type of chargers are really helpful. Like these are like high end type of power delivery wall chargers. And so yeah, here are the uh, two USB-C ports and the USB type A port. I'm gonna say that USB-C one over here at the top is the most useful port on the charger simply because it's able to output 140 watts if you're charging a single device at a time. But I think that's only possible if you're charging a uh, MacBook via a USB-C to a MagSafe uh, charging cable. And, um, and in terms of the size, yeah, this is definitely a gallium nitride charger. 140 watts fits into a 3.1 by 2.9 by 1.3 inch uh, form factor and it weighs a uh, nine ounces. So this is absolutely a small charger back in like, you know, the early 2000s, the 2010s, um, a 140 watt charger would be a big charging brick, but this is just incredibly small. 140 watts coming out of this small thing is exactly what you would expect from a 2023 uh, charger. And of course you get a foldable plug over on this side that just folds right in and folds out just like that for easier portability. And these are the specifications over on this side at the bottom. And also um, there is a power LED light right over here. I think that's a white light once you plug it in. And also, I forgot to mention, uh, Vaultme um, also did send over their uh, six foot 100 watt USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just their uh, USB-C to USB-C charging cable. They do sell uh, charging cables in case you're curious about that. Let's get to charging devices with the uh, wall charger and see how it performs. All right, you guys, so just back with the Vault V 140 watt power delivery wall charger. And so I do have the uh, wall charger plugged into this uh, River 2 power station. And in case you want to take a look at the max output of the charger or like, you know, how much it's outputting um, all at once, just take a look at this number right over here and that will tell you how much the wall charger is outputting. Um, but anyways, let's get started by charging my Accenture's power bank right up here. So the power bank has a um, 100 watt power delivery input through its uh, USB-C port over on this side right up here. And, you know, this uh, power bank should be able to recharge at 100 watts because we're only charging a single device right now. And so we can fully use that um, 100 watts from uh, USB-C 1. Looks like the power bank is recharging at about 97 watts. The uh, power station screen is showing 104 watts, which is even better. But uh, yeah, we are fully using 100 watts in this case, so that's great. 
Let me start recharging my um, Lenovo laptop right over here. See how that recharges. And uh, this should definitely recharge at, at its max speed because um, when you're charging two devices, um, one from USB-C 1 and one from USB-C 2, uh, each of these ports right over here are able to output 65 watts of power delivery, which is incredible. You know, you can basically fast charge two laptops at the same time if you want to. And uh, that's exactly what's happening here. I mean, I'm not charging two laptops, but I am recharging the Citrus Power Bank at 65 watts, and I'm charging my Lenovo laptop at about 22 watts. Um, it is uh, This laptop is charging slower than normal because I do have it almost at its full capacity. Um, because last time I checked, it was at like 90%, I believe. So um, charging is slowing down for the laptop because it's almost at full power. But uh, even so, this is like really good. Um, and also let me plug in my Galaxy Note 9 to see how this is able to fare. This uh, Note 9 should be able to fast charge while these two devices are charging at the same time. Yeah, fast charging for the Galaxy Note 9. The uh, USB-C 1 port is still charging this Excitrus power bank at 65 watts because the uh, output for this uh, port is still 65 watts. And the uh, output for the USB-C 2 port is uh, 45 watts now. And the output for the USB type A port is currently 22.5 watts. Uh, yeah, so the charging speed for the USB type A port all the way at the bottom uh, does not change. Um, yeah, so I mean this uh, port always stays at 22.5 watts no matter if you're only charging a single device at a time or if you're charging three devices at the same time uh, with the uh, Voltme wall charger. Uh, let me do another test as well. Let me just make sure that I can actually output um, 65 watts of power delivery when charging two devices um, from USB-C 1 and USB-C 2. Um, so I'm going to just so I'm just going to unplug my Galaxy Note 9 and my um, Lenovo laptop and have the Excitrus power bank um, keep charging from a USB-C 1. And let me plug in my basis power bank to see if this is able to also charge at 65 watts because uh, this power bank has a 65 watt max input and so it should be able to charge at 65 watts and this Excitrus power bank should also be able to charge at 65 watts as well. Uh, let me check it out. Okay, yeah, so we got 65 watts for the uh, basis power bank and we have 65 watts for the Excitrus power bank. That's, that's awesome. There we go. Yeah, so the so I mean the uh, Voltme wall charger is performing as expected. Uh, we got a 142 watt um, output going on with the wall charger and just taking a look over at the manual just to confirm the specifications um, over on this side with the power allocation so yeah I mean C oh wait yeah so C1 plus C2 65 watts from uh, both ports at the same time and that's exactly what we have happening right here 65 watts for the basis power bank and uh, 65 watts for the uh, Excitrus power bank. That is the performance for the Vault Me wall charger. Performed really well. Um, in case you want a all round wall charger that can practically charge all your devices at the same time and fast charge them all at the same time, uh, this is a pretty good choice. I mean, it performs how it's supposed to. Um, however, you know, the price for this wall charger is pretty steep, I gotta say. I think over on Amazon, it's like 100 something. You know, you pay for what you get. And in this case, 140 watt power delivery wall chargers are pretty expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna go down in price as we move forward. But yeah, I mean, the, this is definitely the cutting edge of power delivery uh, USB-C charging. All right, you guys, that is the review for the Voltme 140 watt power delivery wall charger. And so, yeah, I mean, I like this wall charger. It's insanely powerful, um, small, and you're, and you're able to fast charge two, two laptops if you want to and fast charge a phone simultaneously. Um, however, the price matches the capabilities of this wall charger so it's not exactly a cheap wall charger but at the same time if you buy this charger this is probably the only wall charger you'll ever need uh, for the foreseeable future <laughs> but that's for you to figure out if it's uh, worth paying that price but yeah i mean it performed really well in my testing and down in the description below i will have a link to the product page as well as a link to the review article because i did write a review for this wall charger as well over at chargerharbor.com and i will see you all in the next video all right goodbye